Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. Worship His holy name. The sun comes up. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. What? Good evening, church. Welcome to day number seven. Today is number seven, the seventh day of our 14 days of glory. My Bible tells me that in six days, God created the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day, he rested. So today is a day of rest. We have toiled for six days. We have waited for God on six days. We have sought his face. And today he has brought us into a day of rest. So I just want us to go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Exalt his holy name. Let's thank him for the gift of life. Let's thank him for breath. Let's thank him for ordering our steps. Let's thank him for bringing us into 2021. Let's thank him for such an awesome time in his presence. What a way to start a new year. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship and adore you. We exalt you. We give you praise. There is no one like you, O Lord. What a privilege, what an honor to be called sons and daughters of the living God. Father, we worship you. We bless you. We exalt your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, Who shall ascend unto the holy hill of the Lord? This is his holy hill. And the Bible says, It is he who has clean hands and a pure heart. I want us to go ahead this evening or this morning, wherever you are on the planet, and just cry out for mercy, that whatever it is that is standing between us and God, that God will have mercy on us. He will forgive us. He will cleanse us of all righteousness. Today, he will meet with us in the name of Jesus. Today, our story will change because we are having an encounter. God will touch us. He will heal and deliver us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray for the word of God that we'll hear this evening. The Bible says you will hear a word in the book of Isaiah. It says you will hear a word saying to you that this is the way, walk in it. But for JHB, what he's saying is, JHB, on this seventh day of 14 days of glory, I am saying to you, you will hear a word saying to you that this is the way to your pleasant place, so walk in it. So I just want us to go ahead and say, Father, send me a word that will take me to my pleasant place. In the name of Jesus, I need direction. I need your guidance. Your word is a light and your word is a lamp. Let your word order my steps. Let your word show me the way. In this season, oh Lord, in this year 2021, as I make my way to, your, to my pleasant places, I need direction and guidance. Let your word direct me. In my business, I need direction. In my family, I need direction. Concerning my finances, I need direction. In my spiritual life, direction. As a nation, oh Lord, we need direction. In the name of Jesus, let your word do us good, oh Lord. 
In Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship and adore you. We exalt you today. We thank you for bringing us into your presence. We thank you for bringing us into day seven of 14 days of glory, our day of rest. Father, as we call on you today, we pray that you will hearken unto our cry in the name of Jesus. We pray that today we will have an encounter. We pray that there will be transformation. We pray that there will be healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we will come back with our prayer report. We are going to thank you and to give you glory because you alone deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor and you deserve all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Wherever you may be watching us, good evening. Father, we thank you tonight. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Oh, all the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory. All the glory belongs to you. Hey. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. In heaven and on earth. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. In heaven and on earth. All the glory belongs to you. Hey, all the power belongs to you. All the power belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. All the power belongs to you. All the power, all the power belongs to you. All the power, all the power belongs. Come on, let's to worship you. Him tonight in heaven. In heaven and on earth, all the power belongs to you. No, oh, all the power belongs to you. All the power belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. All the power belongs to you. All the power. All the power belongs to you. All the power. All the power belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. In heaven and on earth. All the power. All the power belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory. All the glory belongs to you. Come on, let's worship him tonight. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. In heaven and on earth. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, Jesus. All the glory belongs to you. In heaven and on earth. Is only you, <laughs> is only you, my Lord, is only you, is only you, it's only you. Come on, let's worship Jesus. him tonight in your you. Wherever we will be watching us, let's worship it's our only God. You, yeah. my Lord. It's only you. Hey, it's only you, Jesus. Is only you, <laughs> is only you, my Lord. Is only you, is only you. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. Oh. It's only you. It's only you, my Lord. It's only you. Take us to a 
our wedding place Alayabashaya is only you my lord is only you is only you oh god it's only you are you really sure Jesus. come on it's let's worship him tonight he's only you it's only you my lord it's only you It's only you, my Lord. It's only you. It's only you. It's only you. Father, we bless you Jesus. tonight. We give you it's all the glory. It's only you. It's only you, my Lord. It's only you. Oh, for heaven. Oh, Lord. Thy word is said to in heaven, it is said to forever. Forever. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Thy word is said to in heaven, it is said to forever. Thy word is said to in heaven, it is said to forever, forever, forever. Oh no, oh no. Thy word is said to in heaven, it is said to forever, forever, forever. Angels bow before 
Watching us come and begin to shout hallelujah. Wave your hands and begin to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah is our victory song. Come on, begin to shout hallelujah. Wave your hands and begin to worship him. Oh Father, we worship you. Oh, we give you all the glory. Oh, we magnify your name. Oh, we reverence your name. We magnify your name tonight. You Lord, holy are you Lord, all creation, all creation, all you God, all you God, what is your name, oh God, what is, is your name, is your name.
to exalt the Yahweh of the tribe of Judah. Let us magnify his name tonight. Let us exalt him tonight. Let us give him praise tonight. He has kept you. He has kept me. Why don't you praise him? Oh Lord, we worship you tonight. We magnify you, Almighty God. Yahweh, you are the tribe of Judah. Lord, we say there is no one like you. None can be compared with you. You are God in heaven. You are God on earth. There is no one that can search your understanding. Father, we worship you tonight. Lega boshka te yamasite bolia. Reke pota bale yamosita bale yabolia. Thank you, Almighty God. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Tonight, I want you to thank God for his faithfulness. We started the fasting on Saturday. Today is the seventh day. He has kept you. He has kept me. Therefore, I want us to give him thanks, even in advance of that which we will do yet again tonight. Lift your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight and I thank you. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for renewing my strength. I thank you for open heavens. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and begin to thank him. I appreciate God Almighty for tonight. I appreciate him for what he has done in the past seven days. He has granted us open heavens. He has acted unto our cries. Lord, we want to thank you. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for keeping us, Almighty God. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your grace, O Lord. Ringaba satabalia, ekapata monia musitabalia, egabaria mushatabalia. You have kept us, Almighty God. We are alive and we are well. Enda bushata galia, King of Glory. We thank you. We honor and we appreciate you, Almighty God. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. I want us to pray tonight. That God Almighty will send his word forth to you and I. That even as we hear the word, that none of the words will fall to the ground. I want you to pray, even for the speaker tonight, that God Almighty will anoint our fresh in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord God Almighty, we pray that tonight your word will not fall to the ground. And as your word goes forth, your word will hit the target you have sent it to. The scripture says that you send your word and he heal them and he delivers us from every destruction let your word heal tonight O lord let your word deliver tonight O lord let your word set free tonight in the mighty name of jesus anoint your servant afresh that you will speak as your mouthpiece tonight in the name of jesus and at the end of tonight let us of course to praise your name yet again thank you almighty god for in jesus precious name we have prayed Lord, we thank you for tonight. Indeed, it is the seventh day. We ask, O oh Lord, that yet again you will speak to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Almighty God, that when we begin to pray, that heavens will continually be open to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you will act into our cries and our voices tonight. And at the end of the day, you alone will take all the glory. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, let's put our hands together. Let's welcome Pastor Bumi tonight to minister the word. The atmosphere is changing now. Keep your heart in worship tonight. Keep your heart in the place where God dwells tonight. Rebo sotoli abo shata ya gaba saya. Heri ege bo seteli ege bo shaya gaba. Keep your heart grounded tonight for you are about to receive from God that which he has prepared for you. Malege bo saya gaba. Rebo shata ya gaba saya. Rebo shata ya gaba saya. The evidence is all around. For the spirit. Good. It's 
But where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The evidence is all Look around you. The evidence of God's presence is around you. As the Spirit yes, from Saturday on to now, the Spirit of the Lord has been doing a great work in your life. Overflow. of our lives in the name of Jesus for everyone who is tuned in tonight oh God let every one of us each one of us receive a miracle receive a breakthrough receive a wonder of your pleasant places and let the praise and the glory be yours in Jesus mighty name we pray amen somebody shout a big amen right where you are and let's appreciate God come on put your hands together for Jesus right where you are are you excited are you grateful oh come on somebody let the lord hear your praise let the lord hear your thanksgiving let the lord hear your praise let the lord hear your thanksgiving for this is the day that the lord has made and we shall 
rejoice and be glad in it. Something is shifting in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of God. You may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. The Lord will not relent until he has fulfilled all of his promises concerning you and I. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had done. I want you to lift up your voice where you are, seated or standing. You are going to ask and say, Father, cause me to rest in my pleasant places from tonight. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray and ask God. Cause me to rest in my pleasant places. Cause me to settle in my pleasant places. Let my spirit be at rest in my pleasant places. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you have said it, so shall it be in Jesus' name. I want to let you know, and these are the promises that God gave me. These have been brooding on my heart. These have been brooding on my heart. I want to let you know that God is about to exceed your expectations in the name of Jesus. God said to tell you, he will give you mind-blowing testimonies from these 14 days of glory in the name of Jesus. Beloved, I wrote it down. Everything God said to me, I wrote it down. He said, get ready because your destiny is receiving a raise. You did hear me. I said, he said, your destiny is receiving a raise in the name of Jesus. He said, your life will no longer be ordinary. He said, your life will be amazing. He said, because the one who promised you is faithful and he's also able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or imagine according to the power that works within you. And beloved, there is a power that is working with it within you. And that power will not fail you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I I want you to know if you can imagine it, God can exceed it. If you can fathom it, God can supersize it. So if your face tonight is supersized, if your face tonight is charged, you know you serve a big, 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 big God, the almighty God. I want you tonight to be prepared for that which he wants to say to you because God has a word for you. And as you pray tonight, every word he has spoken concerning you is going to come to pass in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for your presence in our midst tonight. Indeed, nothing can hinder your presence. Nothing. You are here, and you are in every home, every office, every car, and from every place your people have gathered. You said unto you, O God, who answers prayers, shall all flesh come. O Lord, you don't need the airwaves. You are the air that makes waves. Glorify yourself in this service, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, speak personally to each one of us. Oh Lord, as for me, I ask tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, you will anoint me afresh with your Holy Ghost and with your power. That you will help me to tune into the frequency of heaven tonight. That all of us will be blessed and you alone, oh God, will take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Good evening, church. It's an honor to share the word and to lead us in prayer tonight. I give thanks to God for the privilege and I also want to thank our senior pastors, Pastor Tola and Pastor Kofo for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. And thank you, PK. May God continually increase your greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 16 verse 6. Psalm 16 verse 6. It's a scripture text for 14 days of glory. It says, the lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. Yes, he said, I have a good inheritance. So by virtue of the word of God that you and I have heard this past seven days, we know that God desires us to be established and to be settled in our pleasant places. We call the pleasant place a place of stability, a place of prosperity, a place of fulfillment, a place of unspeakable joy, our place of security. One of the definitions of pleasant places that I liked when I checked the dictionary, it says a place to one's life. Liking. 
a place that has been customized to my liking, a bespoke place for my pleasure. God planned your pleasant place just the way he knows you will want it to be. And that is why nobody should ask you, why do you have what you have? Just tell them this is how I like it. Just tell them this is how I like it. God made it for me just like this because this is how I like it. May God prepare for you. In fact, I believe it that God has already prepared for you. And you are going to be walking every day in that place that is to your liking. In the mighty name of Jesus. That place will bring you satisfaction. That place will bring you fulfillment. That place will bring you security. It's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you rejoicing and celebration in the mighty name of Jesus. And God planned these pleasant places for us a long time ago. No, this is not something that God has just decided to do for you now. No, 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 no. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1, Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful, pleasant, amazing, glorious things. Things planned long ago. Things planned long ago. So I have learned to appreciate encounters like 14 days of glory. Why? Because they create an atmosphere for destiny shifts and adjustments. They create an atmosphere for your destiny to repackage and rearrange itself. That you should adjust from where you are to where you ought to be. That's why I like it. Because listen, beloved, your pleasant places are like treasure that has been stored up inside a box and has your name on it. But the box needs an access code for you to partake of the treasure that lies there. And that access code is activated in the place of prayer. I pray that in this year 2021, as we see God in the place of prayer, you and I will access our pleasant places. And whenever we call on God, he will visit us in the mighty name of Jesus. And when he visits, he never leaves anyone the same way. I pray in the name of Jesus that when he visits, you will receive the reward of your seeking in the mighty name of Jesus. For we serve a God who is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Amen. So tonight, I want to start out by saying that God does not only want to make you and I or to take you and I to our pleasant places. He wants to make you and I pleasant places. God does not just want to take us to our pleasant places. He wants to make us pleasant places. He wants to make our lives pleasant. The Psalm 16 verse 6, our scripture text in the contemporary English version, the CEV. This is how he, it reads. It says, you make my life pleasant and my future is bright. Can somebody claim that right where you are? You make my life pleasant. May God make your life pleasant. And my future is bright. So what I'm saying is that pleasant places is not about a location only, but also about a situation or a condition. It is a state of being made by God. Pleasant places is not only a location that God is going to take you to your pleasant places. No, it's also a situation or condition. It is both of them at the same time. So when we are praying tonight, we're going to be praying both prayers. That God make my life a pleasant place. And God Almighty establish me in my pleasant places. In the mighty name of Jesus. So this was Abraham's experience. This was Abraham's experience. God did not only take Abraham to a city whose builder and maker is God. God made Abraham a pleasant place. God made his life pleasant. God make, made his life appealing. That generations upon generations later, you and I are still proud to be called the seeds of Abraham. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 5. Genesis 12, 1 to 5. The Bible says, the Lord had said to Abraham, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to a land I will show you. May God show you visions of grandeur. May God show you visions of greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus, he says, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. What else do you and I need more than that? 
He says, I will bless those. I said that wasn't enough. What he said wasn't enough. He said, I will bless those who bless you. That is when somebody looks unto you favorably, I will look unto them favorably. When somebody does something wonderful for you, I will do something super wonderful for them. He says, I will bless those who bless you. And whoever curses you, I will curse. I will fight your battles for you. You don't have to curse them yourself. Just give me the battle. Because the battle is not yours. It belongs to me. I will curse those who curse you. And all the people peoples on earth, they will be blessed through you. Ah, what a pleasant life you and I have. What a pleasant life God is routing in us. What a pleasant life he is blessing us with. The Bible says in verse 4, so Abraham went. Abraham went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old, so it doesn't really matter how old you are. God can still make your life pleasant. Don't write yourself off just yet. It does not really matter how old you are chronologically. What matters is when God begins to do a work in you, how far he will take you in that little time. Because like Pastor Tola said yesterday, if you and I need acceleration, it is now. And I know that that same God who is able to accelerate destiny, he's going to accelerate your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says he took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lord, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran. On the way as he was going to his pleasant place, God was making his life beautiful. That's why we sing that song. You make my life so beautiful and as you are you have made me here on earth there's nothing greater than this oh that's why I love you ah, forevermore may God make your life beautiful Ah, may God make your destiny beautiful. May people see the beauty of God upon you. There's a scripture that says the beauty of God is upon us. Yes, the beauty of God is upon us. In the name of Jesus. So let's break it down. It says, I will make you into a great nation. I want you to know, you've heard it before, but I want to remind you that God is a maker. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 16, the Amplified, listen to it. Jeremiah 10, 16, Amplified. It says, the portion of Jacob, the true God on whom Israel has a claim, my God. You have a claim on the portion of the Lord. Not on the portion of man, but the portion. You have a claim. Listen, when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, when they crossed the Jordan to the other side, the first thing that Joshua did unto them was to, was to apportion lots to every tribe of Israel. You have a claim on the Lord's portion. It is yours, it is mine. So God said, the portion of Jacob, the true God on whom Israel has a claim, uh, is not like this. It's not like idols. It's not like man-made things. No, for he is the designer and the maker of all things. And Israel, you and I, is the tribe of his inheritance and he will not fail them. My God, and he will not fail you. God will not fail you. The Bible says the Lord of hosts is his name. That means he can never fail. He's never lost a battle. He will not begin with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will not fail you. He will make you into a pleasant place. He will make your children into a pleasant place. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1. He says there was nothing that was made that was not made by him. Nothing that was made that was not made by this God that we're serving. He is a maker. May God make you into a pleasant place. In the name of Jesus. Let me say this to somebody who has written themselves off. If you are saying maybe life has given you the short end of the stick, I want you to look again. Because not only can God make you, God can remake you. I said God will remake you. Uh, maybe life has not been particularly kind to you in some areas of your life. And life has refused to take shape for you. God will repackage you. He will give you a complete makeover. You will see some complete makeovers. Uh, they are unrecognizable. You will see before and after. That is what God is about to do in your life. I say God is about to remake you. He's about to give you a complete makeover. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes. Jeremiah 18.4. The Bible says, and the vessel. Jeremiah 18.4. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he didn't stop there. He didn't toss it away. Please don't throw yourself away yet. Don't throw in the towel yet. Don't give up yet. No, 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 no. Your life is about to become a pleasant place. People will see you and say, huh? 
is this? And you will say, yes, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. He says he did not throw it away, even though it was mad in his hands. You can be mad in the hands of God because he's still shaping you. Things that can happen that will break you. Even sometimes God will allow the breaking. But never mind. Do not worry. Because the Bible says, so he made it again into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to make it. God has seen your life to be good and he's about to do wonderful miracles in it. In the name of Jesus, I said he will make you into a pleasant place. You shall be a pleasant vessel in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to be great? I will make you into a great nation, he says. To be great is to be outstanding, to be celebrated. It is to be eminent. If that is yours, just be saying amen. I said he said he will, he will make you to be outstanding. Your children will be outstanding. Everywhere they go, they will grab attention. People will say, who is this? He will make you to be celebrated. You will not be tolerated. He says you will be eminent. That's what it means to be great. You will be prosperous. You will be distinguished. You will be set apart. You will be honored. You will be exceptional. You will be remarkable. You will be incomparable. That is the pictorial image and the story of somebody's life. Who is listening to me today? If that is you, I want you to say I receive it in the name of Jesus what is a nation I will make you a great nation a great nation a great nation a nation is a large body of people God is saying he will multiply you you will not be a village no you will become a nation he will multiply you until you become as numerous as the sand on the seashore in the name of Jesus Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19 that verse that we love Jeremiah 30 19 and out of you shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry and I will multiply you and you shall not be few I will also glorify you and you shall not be small may that be your testimony in the name of Jesus hmm. you and I would testify like Jacob Jacob said in Genesis 32 9 to 10 then Jacob prayed, O oh God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, Lord, you who said to me, go back to your country and your relatives and I will make you prosper. I am unworthy of all the kindness and faithfulness you have shown your servant. I had only my staff when I crossed over this Jordan, but now I have become two camps. I said that is going to be somebody's testimony. God will multiply you even when you are not looking. Even when you are not aware, God will be multiplying you. On a daily basis, God will multiply you. On a monthly basis, God will multiply you. Per year, God will multiply you 24 7 God will multiply you in the mighty name of Jesus so you can put them together for sake of time I'm going to move on you can put them together what does it mean to be a great nation if great is eminent is outstanding and a nation is a large body of people it means that you are going to be well outstandingly multiplied in the name of Jesus number two he said and I will bless you I will bless you what does it mean to be blessed it means to be favored it means to be fortunate it means to be happy it means to be joyful it means to be glad can I hear somebody say amen it means to be empowered to prosper it means to be privileged do you feel privileged as a child of God you and I ought to feel privileged because nobody nobody else serving any other God can say they have the God that we serve who looks unto his people favorably who does not keep silent on them whose ears are not too dull to hear nor his arms ever too short to say you are privileged I am privileged we are the privileged gang thank you Jesus hallelujah to be blessed is to be favored you will be favored this year in Jesus name even when you don't feel you need it you will get favor in the mighty name of Jesus in this 2021 and beyond God will bless you beyond measure overlapping joy will be yours irrepressible joy will be yours unspeakable joy will be yours gladness and songs of rejoicing will be yours dancing will be yours raising will be yours jumping and leaping will be yours Hey, do you know it's interesting what's interesting to me was that when I checked the dictionary for the meaning of bless it actually used the word pleasant to be blessed is to be made pleasant in the dictionary it wasn't in the Bible in the dictionary one of the definitions of blessed is pleasant may God make your life a pleasant place and may God lead you to your pleasant places I will bless you means I will make your life pleasant number three I will make your name great we are going to be praying soon he says I will make your name great your name will not be despised when they call your name, heads will lift up. 
I said heads will acknowledge that you are in the building in the name of Jesus. He says, when God makes your name great, nobody can bring your name down. After all, we know that a good name is better than silver and gold. May God give you a good name. May God give you a great name. In the name of Jesus, your name will be honored. That's what it means. Just remember the meaning of great. Your name will be eminent. Your name will be prosperous. Your name will open great doors. Your name will never be despised. Your name will never be a reproach. But your name will be exalted. In the name of Jesus. You know what, what I found in the ERV, the easy to read version concerning that name. Easy to read version of that same scripture. I will make your name. He said, I will build a great nation from you. I will bless you and I will make your name famous. People will use your name to bless other people. My God. He said people will use, you know, you know what they call name dropping? Name dropping, right? That when they get there, they'll be like, ah, Minister Sean Chamba and I are friends. <laughs> yes! Name dropping. It's like when Pastor Tala sent me somewhere, right, to, to represent him at something. When I get there, it is not my name that they really want to. They want to know who Pastor Tala sent. So when I get there, I will say, Pastor Tola sent me. That is serious name dropping. May your name be dropped in great places. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say, God will make your name great. He will make the name of your children great. He will make the name of your business great. He will make the name of your family great. In the name of Jesus. Ha! He said, I will make your name great. And he said, you will be a blessing. Oh my God. If I have a cup and I had a saucer, just imagine it because we think in pictures, right? If I had a cup and I had a saucer, if I pour water and it is halfway in the cup, the saucer is not blessed yet. If I pour the water and it's three quarter way in the cup, the, 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 the saucer is not blessed yet. When I pour it and it is full, the saucer is not blessed yet. But when I pour it and it begins to overflow, then the saucer begins to say, what is this? What is this? The cup is now blessing the saucer. That is what I'm saying about your life. Your life, you will have more than enough for yourself, but then you will not become a blessing unto other people and other nations. You will learn that you will not borrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will be a testimony of God's goodness. Uh, when all the nations of the earth are blessed by you, like the name, if they mention your name, Bill Gates, or the late Steve Jobs, or people that nations are blessed by. Who does not use Microsoft? Who does not use Apple? When you become a blessing, I said that is the pictorial image of somebody. I said when God has spoken about you, every man that comes after is just a mere comma. They are just mere late comers. This is what God has said about you. And that is what will become for, for you in Jesus' name. Then he now said, he capped it off. He said, I will bless those who bless you. Say amen. amen. I'll say it again. He said, I will bless those who bless you. I will curse whoever curses you. And all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. Listen to what the voice translation says as we begin to go into prayer today. He says, I will also bless those who bless you, listen, and further you in your journey, and I'll trip up those who try to trip you along the way. He says, through your descendants, all of the families of the earth will find their blessing in you. That is, until you come on the scene, people will not say we are blessed. Just because the mark of the Lord is upon you. Just because God has promised you. The promises of God, they are yea and amen. We sang a song earlier that says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. And guess what? Here on earth and beneath the earth, it is still settled. Because when Jesus died, he led captivity captive. And he went down under. And he took the keys. And he began to give gifts unto men. And if he has said a word concerning you, I want you to know tonight that your life life will be a pleasant place nobody needs to look for another pleasant place because of your life i want you to rise to your feet tonight we are going to be praying we are going to be praying i want you to thank god you know when god gives you something you know, there's this Bible verse that talks about Jesus and he says, thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. That is the gift that
that is Jesus Christ. See, in everything that we need, everything that we are, everything that we own, everything that we can think of or even want to become, it's all in him. In him was life and that life was the light of men. In him was that light and that light was the light of men. And darkness could not comprehend it. Darkness tried it, but darkness could not overcome it. I want you to thank God for making you such a privileged person. I want you to thank God for making your life a pleasant place. I want you to thank God tonight, the giver of every good gift. I want you to give him praise. I want you to give him glory. I want you to honor him with a grateful heart. Exalt him. Magnify him. Him. Tell him, Father, there is none like you. Without you, who am I? Without you, there's no me. Come on and give him praise. Come on and adore him. He's called the Alpha and the Omega. He's called everything in between as well. He is the El Shaddai, the God of all sufficiency. He is Elohim, the Almighty God. Yahweh is his name. When he speaks, no man can speak. I want you to thank God. When he promises you, you can count on it. For he's not a man that he should lie, not the son of man that he should repent. Whatever God says, he will make it good. Come on and thank him tonight. Give him your all the fruit of your lips. Give him your heart. Give him your breath. Give him everything in you. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. What shall I render, oh God? What shall I render, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done for me? Oh Lord God, you've broken the gates of brass. You cut the bars of iron asunder. You cut mountains, oh God, to become level. You exalted the valleys before me. You went before me to 2021. And now you've made me, oh God, a pleasant place. Jehovah Almighty, I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Bible says in Psalm 65 verse 2, he says, you who answer prayer, to you all people will come. KJV says, to you all flesh shall come. Tonight you are going to pray and say, Father, I come to you tonight. Answer my prayers in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. I come to you, oh God. I have not gone, oh God, to Buddha. I have not gone, oh God, to Muhammad. I have come to you, my Lord and my God. I look unto you, oh God, as a servant looks unto her master. Jehovah Almighty, answer my prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Answer my prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God Almighty, you said I should call. You said I should call and you will answer. You will give me a reward, a vision, great and mighty things that I do not know. Lord God, it is your promise. Your promises don't fail. You are not slack concerning your promises. Therefore, Lord God, today, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will answer my prayer. I am under open heavens, oh God. Let my prayers come upon to you as an evening sacrifice. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice and pray, 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 pray. Pray to God tonight in the name of Jesus. His ears are not too dull to hear, nor his arms ever too short to save. Hey, Lord God Almighty, arise and answer my prayer. Tune your ears to me. The psalmist says, and I sought the Lord, and he heard me. He heard me. He heard me and delivered me out of all my fears. Oh, Lord God, tonight, let me have an encounter with you. Oh, Lord, let me see you. Lord God, let me hear you. Oh, Lord, let me know you heard me. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. I can hear you in your house shout a louder amen. He said I will make you. I will make you. You're going to say father you are the maker of all things. Make me make me into a pleasant place. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, according to your word, be it unto me. According to your word, be it unto me. Make me maker. You are my maker. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, oh God. You stretch forth the heavens like a curtain. You are the father of the Milky Ways and the Lord over the galaxies. My Lord and my God, you are the maker of everything. Lord God, the trees you made, the sun you made, the moon you made. Now, Lord God Almighty, in their beauty and their splendor, Jehovah, I ask on my own self, for my own self, make me, oh God, into a pleasant place. Make my children into a pleasant place. Make my generations into a pleasant place. Lord God Almighty, I don't only want to dwell in pleasant places because the man at the gate called beautiful. He sat by the beautiful gate, but his life was unpleasant. Jehovah Almighty, make me, make me, make me, make me, 
make me as you made him. Make me. Oh Lord God Almighty, you made Esther. Make me. Lord, you made Moses. Make me. You even made Ruth, oh God. Make me. I am a child of Abraham. Make me. In the name of Jesus. Ah, in Jesus' name. The Bible says he will make you into a great nation. So you are going to pray tonight that anything less than great, I reject it. I only want your great, oh God. I don't want anything less than what you have promised me. I know what you promised. If it looks like it, it is not it. I want it, oh God. That place that you said you would take me, that person you said you called me to be, I want to see the fullness. Your voice up and your voice is clear. Lift your voice and say, Father, tonight I pray, make me into a great nation. In the name of Jesus, make me, Lord God, into a great nation. Into a great nation. You said I will not be small. My men will not be few. Oh Lord God, I will not be a village. I will not be a local champion. Oh Lord God Almighty, I am a global champion. Oh Lord God Almighty, make me into a great nation. Oh Lord God, tonight I pray in the name of Jesus. You are the maker of men and you don't cut it small. Lord God, you make it big. You are able to supersize my greatness. Lord God Almighty, enough of Baltimore alone, enough of Maryland alone, enough of the East Coast, Lord Jesus. Take me beyond, Lord God Almighty. You are the God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all I could ever ask or imagine. You are the great, 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 great God. The big, 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 big God. Jehovah Almighty. Make me to a great nation. Come on, somebody pray tonight. Ask him to make you a great nation to multiply you to multiply you to increase you to elevate you to promote you from one level to another dimension your children your family your business in the name of Jesus lift your voice and pray you made Abraham a great nation multiply me Lord God Glorify me, Lord Jesus. Are you praying tonight? If you are not tired of where you are, sometimes where you are is tired of you. It's time for God to take you higher. It's time for God to make you greater. It's time for God to enlarge your territory. Stretch forth your cords and lengthen your stakes. All back not in the name of Jesus. More than eyes can see. Just like you showed Abraham. Great, oh God. Nothing short of great. Lord, I will not settle for less. In the name of Jesus, do it, oh God, because you can. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, shout a louder amen at home right now. In Jesus' name. He says, and I will bless you. And I will bless you. That is a short statement, but loaded. And I will bless you. Can you imagine God passing by and says, and I will bless you. And I will bless you. It's not the bless you, bless you that people say, no, 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 no. It's not the one they say after you have a little cough, no, 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 no. He said, and I will bless. When, see, who is saying it matters, my people? Who is saying it matters? When the God of the universe said, and I will bless you, what kind of hand is he going to use to pour it on you? And I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. You're going to say, Father, in this year, 2021, bless me with the full weight of your blessing in the name of Jesus in this year 2021 bless me with the full weight the full weight of your blessing the full weight of your uh, God bless Solomon with the full weight that Sheba came and said ah the Bible says she was out of breath my Lord and my God bless me with the full weight of your blessing I don't want peaceful blessing Lord God I don't want peaceful blessing in my health I don't want peaceful blessing in my wealth 
I don't want peaceful blessing for my children. I don't want peaceful blessing for my business. Bless me big, oh God. Ah, Lord God, show your grandeur. Show your goodness. Show your mercy. Show your favor. Show it upon me. When you bless Esther, you made her queen. When you bless Joseph, you made him prime minister. Bless me, Lord God Almighty. There is nothing that you cannot give your children. Lord God, I'm praying for a blessing. I'm praying for the empowerment to prosper. I'm praying, oh God, to be a pleasant place. Bless me, Lord God. Jabez, pray. He said that you will bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. Jehovah Almighty, bless me indeed. Bless your children praying indeed. Enlarge our coast. Enlarge our coast. Enlarge our coast. The children of Israel said the place where we inhabit is too small for us. And he gave them the go ahead. He said go ahead and take the territory. Bless me Lord God. Release a word that will take me higher. Release a word that will take me farther. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Malachi chapter 3 verse 12. Malachi chapter 3 verse 12. We're still praying that prayer. He says, and all nations. Eh, I'm not talking because when we talk about nations, we're not talking about the 50 states of America. No, 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 no. no. We're talking about continents. We're talking about Asia and Antarctica and all those places. He says, and all nations together, all of them, will call you blessed. I said, all nations will call you blessed. And you have to be really blessed for all nations. Everybody agreeing at once that you are blessed. You will be blessed in an uncontainable dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, all nations will call you blessed. For you will be a delightful land. A delightful land. Your life like this will be bringing delight everywhere you go. You will be a delightful land. There will be no sorrow in you. There will be no mourning in you. There will be no sickness in you. There will be no lethargy in you. There will be no spiritual weakness in you. No weariness in you. There will be no lack in you. There will be no death in you. Come on tonight, you are going to pray. And your words are simple. Father, make my life, make my life a delightful land. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and be begin to pray. Make my life a delightful land. Let everything that God sows in my life, let it germinate. When the word of God comes and it's sown upon my heart, let it germinate. When prayer comes and it's sown in my life, let it germinate. Some people go around and they pray and they listen to the word but nothing germinates. Lord God Almighty, let my land be a delightful land. Let it be Hezeba. Let it be Beulah. It will no longer be called forsaken. It will no longer be desolate in the name of Jesus. Make it yield a bountiful harvest in the name of Jesus. Make my life a delightful land. Make my children's life a delightful land. Make my husband's life a delightful land. Come on, beloved, pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your church. Pray for your pastors. Make Jesus house Baltimore a delightful land. You said it will be like a city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. You said men and women shall flow into it. A delightful land. When they come, they see the glory of God. It is a delightful land. When they come, their chains are broken. It is a delightful land. When they come, prison doors are open. It is a delightful land. Make my life, my life, my life, my life, my life, my life a delightful land. Make my life a delightful land. Make my life a delightful land. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you're going to pray specifically for your seed, your offspring. And if you tell me, oh, I'm single, I don't really have anybody to pray for, you lie. Except if you don't want to have children. Let me tell you something. God has given a woman a womb. Whether a child is in there or not, it is still not devoid of the capacity. It still has the potential to become. God has placed something in man that is supposed to bring reproduction. Whether you have had the child or not, it does not matter. You still have the capacity. You still have the ability. You still have the potential to become everything God has called you to be. So you're going to say it for your children and your offspring. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 9, it says their descendants will be known amongst the nations. 
and their offspring amongst the people. That means they will be outstanding. All who see them, listen to what the Bible says. He said they will acknowledge that they are a people that the Lord has blessed. You are going to pray that prayer for your children and say, Father, make my children's lives outstanding. Let men and women testify that they are blessed. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Make them a showcase of your glory. Make them a showcase of your power. Make them a showcase of your honor. Everywhere they are, their heads shall be lifted up. I push them to the front of the line. They will not serve another. In the name of Jesus, they will be proper children. In the name of Jesus, their lives shall be blessed. Their education is blessed. Everything about them is blessed. Their growth is blessed. They will not go with the world. Their spirit is blessed. In the name of Jesus, everybody that sees my children, they will acknowledge that these are the ones that the Lord has blessed. Because according to God, listen beloved, he said the generations of the righteous shall be mighty in the land. You will take nothing less than mighty. Your children will not serve other children. Your children will not serve the children of the world. Lift your voice again and say, Father, make my children mighty. Make my children mighty in the land, in the name of Jesus. Wherever they may be, on the four corners of the earth, the north, the south, the east, and the west. Wherever they may go, in Maryland, outside of Maryland, wherever they may be on the planet, Jehovah Almighty, let them acknowledge that these ones are blessed. Let men acknowledge that these ones are blessed. A showcase of your glory, a showcase of your honor. Hey, hey. They are the generation of the righteous. They are the generation of the righteous. They shall be mighty in the land. They will not be small. No, 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 no. Our children will be greater. They will be bigger. They will be better. For the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. Thank you, Lord God. Come on and thank God for that. Thank God for that. May God bless your seed. I said, may God bless your seed. May your seed become a living testimony. In the name of Jesus. Listen to what God says. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 11. Deuteronomy 28 11. The Lord will make you prosper abundantly. <laughs> Thank you for saying amen. Because that is a serious prayer. The Bible says, God said, Jesus said, uh, or God said, Beloved, said John 1, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. That is abundant prosperity. Spirit, soul, and body. Soteria. Nothing missing, nothing broken in you. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. And God said, I'm not going to do it in a little way. He says, I will prosper you abundantly. He says, in the fruit of the womb, I will prosper you. In the offspring of your livestock, I will prosper you. And the produce of your land, I will prosper you. And in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you, you will not miss anything. Lift your voice and say, Father! in 2021 and beyond I can't hear your voice I know you are at home but I want you to lift it up like a trumpet Father in this year 2021 and beyond prosper me abundantly in the name of Jesus prosper my soul prosper my spirit restore unto me the joy of your salvation revive my prayer altar prosper me in every way prosper me on every side give me rest by the reason of the seventh day in the name of Jesus lift your voice and pray prosper me abundantly prosper my spouse prosper my children in the name of Jesus prosper Jesus house Baltimore prosper Pastor Tola prosper Pastor Kofo prosper their children abundantly prosper every member male and female young and old abundantly in the name of Jesus let there be a mark upon us that these are the field that the Lord has blessed us in the name of Jesus thank you Lord God in Jesus name we pray and uh, listen to this in Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 13 Deuteronomy 33 verse 13 he says concerning Joseph he said may his land be blessed by the Lord listen to where the blessing is coming from with the precious dew from heaven above and the deep waters that lie beneath the earth 
if you are being blessed from under and you are being blessed from above, you cannot escape the blessing. In 2021, lift up your voice and say, Father, in 2021, make it impossible for me not to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Make it impossible for me not to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, blessing. Bless in the city, bless in the field. Bless everywhere that I go. As the dew that falls from heaven, let it drench me. Let it drench my marriage. Let it make me new. Let it make me whole. Let it revive me. Oh Lord, make it impossible for me not to be blessed. Oh Lord God Almighty, from beneath, bless me. From above, bless me. From beside, bless me. In the name of Jesus. Come on, beloved, you can do better. Lift your voice and pray. With the dew of heaven, bless me. I will lack nothing good. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Listen, this is something God just put in my spirit now. When the dew is falling, you don't have a choice. If you are the vegetation, if you are the land. It must fall on you. When the dew that comes from heaven falls, you don't have a choice. Even as human beings, when you go out, when the dew is falling, you don't have a choice. It will fall on you. If we are a woman, you have hair, you will say. It may not look like you are drenched, but it is there. And it lasts a while. You are going to pray. You are going, your, your prayer is simple. Father! Let the dew from heaven rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Unescapable blessing. Let it nourish me. Let it nurture me. Let it nurture my family. Let it nurture my marriage. Let it nurture my ministry. In the name of Jesus. Let it nurture Jesus house Baltimore. Hey, it's the house of the Lord. It is the place where his glory dwells. Like the dew that falls from heaven. Rest upon my life, oh God. 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 Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Proverbs 10, 22. Proverbs 10, 22. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord, it brings true riches. True, it qualifies it in the Amplified Version. That's what I'm reading. Amplified Version. If you can put it up, let people say it. It says the blessing of the Lord brings true riches. It means there can be false riches. Mm. Riches that don't endure. Riches that are got by illicit means. False riches. It says... The blessing of the Lord brings true riches and he adds no sorrow to it for it comes as a blessing from God. The blessing of the Lord. I don't know what true riches you are looking for. True riches is not only money. True riches is a great relationship with God. True riches is good health. Talking about true riches as great relationship with God. Nobody can deny that Abraham had a great relationship with God. He had intimacy with God. Abraham was a man called the friend of God. Abraham trusted God so much that the Bible counted it unto him for righteousness. I'm talking about true riches. Riches that money cannot buy. I love a prayer that Pastor Tola prays. I pray it all the time. My family, we pray it all the time. Father, give me a blessing that money cannot buy. You see, because money is small when it compares to true riches. True riches are the great people God has surrounded you with. True riches is the health in your body that no money can pay for. True riches is a sound mind. True riches. True riches are great children surrounding your table. True riches is favor everywhere you go. Lift your voice and say, Father, bless me with true riches this year. Riches that add no sorrow. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Oh, Lord God Almighty, bless me in 2021 one on a daily basis with true riches true true riches oh god a sound mind oh god for it's with the mind that we serve the lord my lord and my god sound body oh lord god that i may fulfill the call that you have upon my life oh lord god bless me with great friends oh god great company in the name of jesus for poor communication
and corrupts good manners. Oh, yege bosha ta yagaba yagagagaga. Hey, yege bosha to yege bosha yagaba. Hey, Lord God, true riches that add no sorrow. I don't want money that will bring me sorrow. I don't want friends that will bring me sorrow. Hey, yege bosha ta yagaba yagagagaga. I don't want money that will take my heart away from God. Hey, yege bosha ta yagaba saya. True riches, oh God. Thank you, Jehovah. Mm, in Jesus' name we pray. Listen. Mm. Every life gives off an aroma. Every life. Every life gives off an aroma. When you show up anywhere, people will make a decision immediately. Whether they're going to like you or they're not going to like you. Every life gives off an aroma. You see some people, wherever they go, they are loved. People pay them attention. What did Esther do in the palace at Susa? That the Bible says, Higai, the eunuch, loved Esther beyond all the other maidens. What did Joseph do that made everybody in the prison to bow before him? What on earth, what on earth did Mary do? that made her of all the virgins in the earth to be chosen above all you are going to pray tonight and your prayer is simple lord god almighty lift your voice and say father let my life smell like the field that the lord has blessed i'll tell you the reason i said that before we pray let my life smell like the like the field that the lord has blessed this is what isaac said to Jacob when he was pretending to be Esau. When Jacob entered with the clothes that Esau was wearing, Isaac did, mm, it brought him pleasure. And he released all the blessings in his mouth. His Bible says, and he, Isaac, came near and kissed Jacob, pretending to be Esau. And he smelled the clothes, smell of his clothing and blessed him and said, surely the smell of my son is like the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed a pleasant smell lift your voice and say father let my life be like the field that the lord has blessed give me a pleasant smell in the name of jesus let the aroma that oozes from my life oh god let it be the one that attracts favor let it be the one that attracts blessing let it be a magnet for promotion let it be a magnet for for lifting in the name of jesus oh lord god that this life will be a pleasant life let the aroma oh god that comes from my life oh lord in the name of jesus let it be like that of a field that the lord has blessed let it be like that of a field that the Lord has blessed. Let it be irresistible in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we pray. I'm going to fast forward because I, I think we have maybe two or three more prayer points and we'll be done. Maybe two. We'll see. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 4 to 5. Mm, maybe this is where we'll end. The Bible says, so Abraham went. That's the end of the scriptures that we read, the last part. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. This, that story for another day, we're not going to talk about the fact that God told him to leave. He didn't tell him to take anybody, but then Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he set out for Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. The Bible continued and finished and said, they arrived there. <laughs> you will arrive there. I say you will arrive at your pleasant places. Your journey, the journey of your destiny will not be truncated. Your destiny will not be aborted. Your life will not be an unfinished business. In the mighty name of Jesus, your destiny will not be abandoned. In the name of Jesus, you are going to pray and say, Father, cause me to arrive there. Cause me to arrive there. We're going to end with this prayer, but I want you to pray it with your soul. You know where there is in your life. You know where there is. You know where there is. You know where that place of fulfillment is. You know where that place of satisfaction is. You know the prayers that you pray that no man can hear. You know how you pray for your body. You know how you pray for your spirit. You know how you pray for your children. You know how you pray for your business. You know how you pray for the works of your hands. You know how you pray for your academics. Whatever it is, there is a there that awaits you. You will arrive there in the name of Jesus. Ask God. Lord God, oh 
might I pray for myself? Let me arrive there. Don't let my journey be truncated. Abraham's father started the same journey, but he did not arrive there. Terah gave up at Haran. Lord God, I will not give up on my destiny. Let me arrive there. Let nothing hinder me from arriving there. Let nothing hinder my destiny from arriving there. Let nothing hinder my children from arriving there. When I am long gone, oh God, after I've been old and gray, oh Lord God, let them not miss it in the name of Jesus. Let me arrive there. Let my destiny arrive there. Let my purpose arrive there. Let my assignment arrive there. Let me hear, Lord God, at the end of the day, well done, thou good and faithful servant, because I will arrive there. I will arrive where the 24 elders and the angels are crying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The heavens and the earth, they are filled with your glory. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and begin to thank him. Glorify his name, for there is no rock like our God. He is a God who is the maker. He is making you. He is establishing you. You are in your pleasant place. You are settled. You are happy. You are joyful. You are satisfied. Your land is beautiful. The land of your children is beautiful. Jesus' house, Baltimore, is beautiful. Pastor Tola, Pastor Kofo's life and their family is beautiful. We give you praise, oh God, for you are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Will somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Make my life so beautiful. And I as you are, you have led me around. There's nothing greater than me. That's what I love. That's why I love. communion elements to be ready if you have bread or you have crackers make them ready make them ready we are going to pray wherever you are you can lift up your element before God tonight Lord God Almighty will lift up these communion elements before you we ask O oh Lord that your blessing will rest upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. As we take your body and your blood tonight, we ask Almighty God that the covenant of perfection being the seventh day, let it rest upon us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, O Lord, that you will perfect everything that we have asked of you in this past seven days in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us come out and come back giving a testimony and a praise report in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For I have received from the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, 
and when he had given thanks he broke it he said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me as we take the bread tonight i pray that your body will not be broken in the mighty name of jesus your finance will not be broken your health will not be broken your family will not be broken in the mighty name of jesus let's go ahead and take the bread In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As we take this wine tonight, I pray that in the day of trouble, may the blood of Jesus speak on your behalf. I pray that that blood will speak on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. The scripture says that when I see the blood, I will pass over you. May death pass over you. May evil pass over you. May accident pass over you. May bankruptcy pass over you. May sickness pass over you in the name of Jesus. You can go ahead and drink the wine. For a minute or two, just go ahead and begin to give him thanks. I appreciate God tonight for that which he has done. Come on, I appreciate him for that which he has done tonight. Father, we thank you. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify your name, Almighty God. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Thank you for perfecting that which concerns us, O Lord. Glory and honor be to your name, Almighty God. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. I wish somebody can shout hallelujah. Come on at home, shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout a breakthrough hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Let's be seated tonight before we round up. I want us to give an offering tonight. Give an offering of thanksgiving. Give an offering of appreciation tonight. We said yesterday that we will take our offerings tonight. So please, we have all the platforms that we'll give on. We can give by Zelle. If you want to give by Zelle, you can give by Cash App. If you want to give by Cash App, you can give through the website or even by text, whichever one is convenient for you. Let us give. And please don't forget this fasting and prayer continues tomorrow. We have no meeting tomorrow, so you pray on your own. But on Sunday, we are here at 10 o'clock. And then throughout this week, next week rather, Monday to Friday, as we do the grand finale, it's going to be strictly virtual. It's going to be strictly virtual. All our ministers have sent in their recordings, and I know that they will be a blessing to us. So don't miss any of these days. And as you do so, God Almighty will reward your, 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 your faithfulness. It will reward your faithfulness. It's time for us to give tonight. You are good. We will sing your praise, oh God. You are good. And you reign over all. Yeah. 
Father, we want to thank you. Thank you for tonight, Almighty God. Thank you for blessing us with your word. Thank you for answer prayers, Almighty God. I pray for you tonight that God Almighty will manifest that which you have asked of him in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your testimony will be seen by all in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that men will join you in thanksgiving unto God in the mighty name of Jesus. This year, God will bless you. He will make you. He will cause his face to shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you rest at heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing, nothing, nothing will be able to stand before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every mountain before you, they shall become plain in the mighty name of Jesus. May God go ahead of you may God come with you in the name of Jesus may God fight your battles for you in the mighty name of Jesus and may God accept your giving tonight and cause men to give back unto you thank you everlasting father in Jesus precious name we have prayed amen God bless you have a wonderful weekend God bless you we are going higher we are going